Hey everybody, it's Terrell. This is my third week on testosterone video, and I've got a kitty here, Diego, who's very unhappy that I'm making a video right now, and would like all of my attention, forever and ever. Uh, yeah, sorry. So, I have really great news this week. I found out that uh, the injectable testosterone is covered by my health insurance, which is amazing. I do have to pay for the syringes and needles, but it costs like 15 bucks for a pack of 20, so that's 20 weeks. I'm going to be injecting 50 milligrams of testosterone weekly, uh, just to prevent the kind of um, really intense dips in testosterone between injections. Um, you know, everyone's different. Some people are okay to do it every two to four weeks, but uh, that's a little far for me. Um, I'd like to keep my mental health kind of level by having fewer uh, swings in hormones and stuff, so that's a consideration. Um, the testosterone I have is testosterone spinate, and it, it has a half-life of, well, internet says it has a half-life of about 12 days. There are differing ideas about that, but that's what it looks like. This is going to last me for, yeah, 20 weeks, which is awesome. And I have to go see my doctor and find out, figure out how to do it. So I'm not going to start uh, injections until next week. I want to finish off the patches because I paid for them and also need time to book in and drag Ray along with me to learn how to do the injections and I will demo an injection at some point for you guys um, when I'm comfortable doing it or uh, when Ray is comfortable doing it. So very excited to get started on that. I'm um, gonna also quickly answer a question that I had this week which is uh, what was the process for me uh, getting an endocrinologist and starting on T. So uh, it took me uh, just over two years to really to get an endocrinologist. Um, and that's because partially because I, I took my time seeing a counselor, making the call um, to get a referral to Dr. Patrick, who is one of two gatekeepers in Alberta. Um, you either have to see Dr. Patrick or Dr. Wernicke if you want to get anything covered uh, in regards to trans stuff in Alberta, so uh, surgeries or what have you. I heard through word of mouth that Patrick was a little more um, understanding of genderqueer uh, identities and that Warnicky was a little more old school, more binary, and uh, so I didn't really want to have to deal with that, so I just asked for Patrick, and yeah, he's great. Um, and you can be yourself, you can be honest with him if you are genderqueer and you want to transition in some aspects, but not completely or whatever. Um, so yeah, recommend him. Um, and after that, it took a year to get in, over a year, to get in to see him. So that was uh, a year and a half um, with seeing the counselor, then waiting. When I saw Patrick, it only took about three months to actually get an endocrinologist. And I think you could bypass that, um, get started on hormones a lot faster if you just had a, a GP recommend you to an endo. Um, but of course, if you want surgeries, you still need to do the, the, uh, the wait time to get in to see Patrick. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's a bit of a process, but it, it's good in the sense that it makes you pause and think about what you're doing and... It, by the time that you get what you need and and what you want, you are definitely ready for it, you know. So, like, it sucks, it's frustrating, but there is that aspect of it, of really being emotionally and mentally prepared and having that time to adjust to it yourself or to come out to people. And, uh, yeah, gonna leave it there. Happy New Year, uh, everybody, and uh, and stay well. Catch you later.